It's best known for flashy video games or socializing in the metaverse, but now virtual reality is being used to teach Kenyan school children in low-income areas. In one classroom in Nairobi, these students have been going on virtual these students have been going on a virtual school trip to learn more about plastic pollution. The Quenza VR has helped me and other students to take care of the environment by separating plastics and organic waste. We are now able to dispose of waste like we have been taught. Before, I would use plastic bottles and dispose of them by any means. But now, I am not buying soda or water using a plastic bottle. I buy soda in a glass bottle. Kenyan-based Ukwenza VR mainly works with schools in low-income areas, offering virtual field trips to students that would otherwise be impossible due to financial constraints. The social enterprise focus is on issues such as plastic pollution and climate change. The question is usually how can we make children care enough about the issue for them to act differently, which is very challenging. So virtual reality comes in, in helping them, one, conceptualize the problem. It's one thing to say don't throw away waste, but it's another thing to understand that if I throw away a plastic bottle, it will end up in the Indian Ocean and it will affect marine life, which then affects me because I want to eat that fish. So you're able to create um, a, connect, a chain that um, helps them connect their action to each uh, thing that happens along the way. Organizers say it is difficult for children to understand topics like plastic pollution and climate change when just taught the theory. But with VR technology, students can see for themselves the impacts on the environment. Thank you. Thank you.